Look at this integral, i f from 2 to 3 dx over 1 minus x. The default here will be for me to show with the full steps, not skipping steps, because I know there are students, they can look at this and they can do this really fast, but there are other students who may struggle. So the default is always to show the full steps without skipping. You're looking at a function which is 1 over 1 minus x, but it can also be equivalent to a minus place outside 1 over x minus 1. And you want to do it in this way because it's easier. Now I'm looking at a 2 and a 3. I have a dx over x minus 1. And this is what I will evaluate. It's equivalent to what you see here. But what you see over here, a 1 over 1 minus x, if you were to graph it out, you're looking at this. You're looking at a 0 of the function 1 minus x equals 0, x is equal to 1. You have a vertical asymptote. Based on this function, you have a horizontal asymptote, which is your x-axis. Based on this, you have a y-intercept, 0, 1, which is this. You're looking at a function which looks something like this and then like this. I'm looking at it from 2 to 3. If this is 2, this is 3. I have here a entirely shaded region but below the x-axis. Therefore, I should have a minus area, a negative area as my end result. And I will by looking at this. As I said, I'm not skipping steps, so I want. Someone can do this really fast in a matter of a few seconds and be done with it. But I'm doing here use substitution. u is equal to x minus 1. du is equal to do dx. And I have two limits which will come out u, u1 and u2 with regards to this and these coming in. u1, x minus 1, 2 minus 1, I have a 1. u2, 3 minus 1, I have a 2. I'm looking here at this. I have here 1 and a 2, a du over here, a u. I have minus natural log u. I have a 2 and 1. You are looking here at minus natural log 2 minus natural log 1. You know this is a 0. Your end result is minus natural log 2. It's correct. Again, this right here can be superfluous. You could have taken this directly to a minus natural log parentheses x minus 1, then put 3 and 2, and you would still have the same result. By doing the u substitution, the only difference you're looking at is this 1 and 2 versus 3 and a 2, and your item and then logarithmic parentheses here is x minus 1 versus just a u. But either way, it's correct. This right here is a complete way, complete route. The algebraic manipulation at the very beginning helped us out greatly and makes it all the more easy.